Okay, kind of a quick effort, picking up from where I left off for the last forum post regarding answering some basic setup questions and working with this um, 3U model. And I did the original setup and answered as many questions as I could with this piece of half inch plate as a weight and I've got it labeled at 18 pounds 10 ounces. And because I had a spacer cut to give me my three quarters inch lift space, I wanted to keep the dimensions all the same. Uh, right now, I need to go back to that and do one more lift test to answer the last question. Right now, I do have the water shut off so that no fluid can transfer from this container over into the um, Z chamber. And I'm just going to lift this off of here. Three pounds here, five pounds here. And if I remember, this was about three. I needed that extra three pounds of nails to make up the difference. So now with this on, and hopefully fairly centered. And I need to give myself some guides so I can get this on and off a little easier. And back with this. And the spacer block, we're back at 18 pounds. Now before I did any of that, I was sitting over here at 9 inches. And it was up just a little bit. So now we're sitting at... Um, 11 and a half, bare increase. And I'm gonna to have to crank this up almost all the way to the top. I don't know if you can see it. I left myself a mark up here where I was testing this morning with the uh, full 24 pound load. So now I'll crank it all the way back up. Still have the water shut off, nothing can transfer. I have a couple of marks on this container. I should be able to come pretty well back to where I was. I haven't removed any fluid except what's sitting up on top in the cup. There's 13 ounces there. So if this behaves as expected, I'll lift this up to the previous mark. The water levels will realign to where I uh, started and we'll get a three-quarter inch lift. Okay, so I'm just about back at the tape line, right there. So we're back where I was working with the 24 pounds. Nothing has done, happened here because I haven't let any fluid transfer. And I still have the lift volume sitting in the cup. So I'm just gonna open the valve and we'll see where it lands. Alright, so the differentials have greatly increased, but nothing has really moved, and we're light. I can press down and see a little motion, so we're a little above 
barely floating. And right now I'm at uh, 30 inches of head. And earlier, trying to find my sheet. Where is my note? Yes, barely floating, fully loaded, 24 pounds, 25 inches. And right now we're at 31, so I am a little high. Maybe this is going to surprise me. Actually, we're up really close to a quarter of an inch. Well, the head's getting back down to where I would have expected to see it. Twenty-six right now. Okay, now we're at bottom, and I'm reading 24, which is actually a little bit low. I'd still call that within reason. And now I have the 13 ounces of water that had been taken out previously. goes up to 25 and a half. Previous tests and it required 32 to get it to lift. That must be where that extra lift came from.
stopped at uh, 29 and a half. Just letting it balance out. Go a little slower to finish the left. And what ends up happening is these bands, as it goes up, they actually come closer together because the wall thicknesses vacate some of the space and some of the water from the gaps moves in to fill that in. It's a little off balance. You can push the weight towards the rear a little better now. Seems to have stopped. Or just over 30 inches. Probably got to go right back to my mark. The mark I've got. And I've lifted that uh, 13 ounces of water, I think about four. I haven't calculated that out to see just where the efficiencies are. But that's not really the whole point of this exercise anyway. We're just trying to get some base numbers at this point. And now we're not tight. But that's pretty much a three-quarter inch left. And just for demonstration, I'll close the input cylinder. Since I got the camera rolling anyway. And 33, well, 32 and three quarters. And we'll bet down to about 28, 29. Already started to sink a little bit. Down about a quarter of an inch now. And so far I've removed about four ounces of water. And it is interesting, it'll get to a certain point and the water will just stop. Like that. And I drop it a couple more inches. To shorten this up a little bit, I'll take it all the way down to 25. That should be a pretty good sink. And now we're up to 10 ounces out. And most of the way down. at 25. 
It's not quite sunk yet. Take a couple more ounces. I'm down to 24. And there we have it. It's most of the way back to the starting point. I've taken out the same amount of water I put in. Mm, slightly less, I'm at 12. I'm not quite all the way down either. And the head's still just a hair high. We're at uh, 25 and a half, which is about an inch above starting point. And that's one full cycle. 3U um, Wayne Travis Z device, lifting 24 pounds with 13 fluid ounces of water. We'll see where we go from here. Thanks for watching.